Last Valentine's Day, the Fifty Shades of Grey movie came out. It was very much talked about, very much discussed, and apparently enough people went out to see the movie that they decided to make another one out again this Valentine's Day, no less. I wanna to talk to you about a couple of different things today that are really, really important to step back and take a look at in the popularity of the Fifty Shades Empire. The first one is the normalization and romanticism of domestic abuse and manipulation and control of women. This is very important to look at because Christian manipulates and controls and um, exerts aggression over Anna, the female character in the book, and that is portrayed in a very romantic way. It's portrayed in a very sexy way that this um, is something that women look at and think like, oh, how romantic when it's domestic abuse and manipulation and control, which are not romantic things at all. When we look at this in the romantic way, in the, in the glitter of Hollywood, that, the, uh, that Hollywood has put a facade of romanticism over domestic abuse um, and manipulation and control, it is very dangerous because it normalizes this in women's heads to believe that this is okay, that if a man exerts this kind of aggression and manipulation and control over you, that it's romantic, that it's a way that he's seducing you. And that is a very big problem, especially in the minds of young women that are being formed to see how a man should treat them, That like what is okay and what is not, the level of respect they deserve. Christian in the book doesn't respect this woman at all that is very important to look at. The culture is desensitizing us to very, very many different things. It is very important that we have careful minds and hearts to look at what we are being desensitized to in our lives. When we desensitize ourselves to domestic violence, that it doesn't bother us, um, that it doesn't you know, stir within us a, a sense that this is wrong, that's a really, really big problem. So the normalization of domestic violence and abuse is a massive first problem with Fifty Shades of Grey. Another thing that I want to talk about is, as Christians, um, how we're called to purity of heart. We're called out, to, called to live at the virtue of chastity, which encompasses purity. It's all about purity of heart and mind and body. And when we go to consume these things, consume a movie like Fifty Shades of Grey, which is what's happening. You're taking it in, in your ears, in your eyes, in your heart. When we see these images in the movie, we become desensitized as I spoke of, but we cannot unsee those things. Those are things that we have seen and we have experienced and we have encountered and we cannot get those images out of our head. Those are stuck with us. What is lending to the purity of our hearts and our minds and our speech? Something like Fifty Shades of Grey is not contributing to the purity of our hearts and our minds and our spirits in any way. Another thing I want to talk about is the element of escape that a lot of women say, like, I just love escaping into the fantasy world. If our escape, the escape that we want from our lives is to be in this world of misogynistic abuse and violence, we have to take a look at our lives. That there are many places in our lives where we can get away um, from our, you know, normal everyday lives, the stress of everyday life, um, you know, the beach, vacation, nature, going to get a coffee with a friend, etc. Because this fantasy world offers us as women a very twisted and sick idea of what love actually is. That that, that these two people are presented to be in love in the book but really it's not authentic love at all. It is not healthy for women especially because we should be looking at examples of men who know how to treat a woman with dignity and respect. The Fifty Shades series Empire teaches women nothing about the way they deserve to be treated. We as women need to collectively take a stand in these instances to say, yeah, if we're gonna champion women's empowerment and, and, and say that we want women to be treated with respect, we can't waltz off to the theater next week to celebrate a story that celebrates men being aggressive toward women, disrespecting women. There is nothing sexy or romantic about abuse, about domestic violence, about manipulation and control of women, and there never will be. And that's why I will not be going out to see Fifty Shades Darker next week.